This is the Book of Life, a show about Jewish kidlit mostly. I'm Heidi Rabinowitz. Welcome to our special series, Books in the Time of Coronavirus. We'll hear from authors who had to cancel their spring 2020 promotional events due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Today, we hear from author Leslea Newman about her picture book, Welcoming Elijah, a Passover tale, T-A-L-E, with a tail, T-A-I-L. And I want to give a big shout out to Sephora Cohen for becoming a monthly Book of Life supporter on patreon.com slash bookoflife. Thanks, Sippy. Hi, my name is Leslie Newman, and I am going to talk to you about my newest picture book, Welcoming Elijah, a Passover Tale with a Tale. It was illustrated by Susan Gall, and it was published by Abrams on January 28th. This spring, I was going to visit bookstores and synagogues and Jewish community centers in Boston, Massachusetts, Amherst, Massachusetts, Holyoke, Massachusetts, New York City, Hartford, Connecticut, and San Diego, California. But of course, all those appearances have been canceled. So I'm staying in my home to keep myself and others safe, and I hope that you are doing that too. Welcoming Elijah is for readers age 2 to 102. The story takes place during a Passover Seder. Inside, a boy and his family celebrate Passover. Outside, a lonely kitten watches and does its best to participate. For example, inside, the boy washes his hands. Outside, the kitten cleans its paws. Inside, the boy breaks the middle matzah in half. Outside, the kitten snaps a twig in two. And when the door opens for Elijah, well, You'll have to read the book to find out what happens, but it's something wonderful. I wrote the book as a way to celebrate and combine two of my favorite things, Passover and cats. And on my tour, I would have shown readers a photo of Princess Sheba Darling, who was my inspiration for the book. She's a beautiful white cat who sat on my lap the whole time I wrote the story. You can buy Welcoming Elijah, A Passover Tale with a Tale at IndieBound.org, which supports local independent bookstores or wherever fine books are sold. These days, it's very important to do Tikkun Olam, which means to repair the world. We could all help out. It's such an important time to do that. And I had an idea that since my book features a homeless cat, maybe we could uh, make a donation food, or money to a local animal shelter. Thank you for listening. Sei gesund, which means be well. And please visit me online at www.lesliakids.com. If you write or illustrate Jewish books, and your new book's spring 2020 promotional events have been canceled due to the pandemic, I invite you to take part in the Book of Life's special series, Books in the Time of Coronavirus. Visit tinyurl.com slash bookscovid for instructions or get in touch with me at 561-206-2473 or bookoflifepodcast at gmail.com. Listeners, you know the drill. Check out bookoflifepodcast.com for links to every way to reach me, every way to support the show, every way to get more information, and to hear every Book of Life episode since 2005, since you've probably got extra time on your hands right now. Thanks, as always, to the Freilach Makers Klezmer String Band for our background music. Please stay healthy, and everybody, please wash your hands.